for the first one, I need another sign, yeah, help me out I'd rather be with you than live a hundred lives Love is mine, who turned the truth to hatred, who turned love to lies I am the power of your shrine, even the sun is mine Why is the heat in a moment, long as the summertime I can't take back what I did or make the summer wine I know you overlook mistakes, but this like number nine yeah. Only those that's humble are the leaders She bring me so much peace, oh I need her mm. I've never seen submission like this either With the touch of her hand, she healed my fever mm. I fell to my knees about a hundred times I ignore the first one, I need another sign, yeah Help me God. I'd rather be with her than have a hundred wives She buy one long enough, I need another day This road I'm on is closing, show another way The doctor you had perfect, I see me within these verses I but I could never call you by another name Your love is mine, I am the power of your shrine and being the sun is mine Why is the heat in the moment long as it's summertime? Yeah, only those that's humble are the leaders Only those that's humble are the leaders Only those that's humble are the leaders With the touch of her hand, she held my fever mm. Let the raw economy and sing If my sin is coveting, then rip it off from under me Just let the raw economy and breathe I fell to my knees about a hundred times I ignore the first one, I need one more sign Just give it one more time Straight from the fall, I'm behind you, come for me 
Give us a precious death, no wanna live in stress Don't wanna fight or press, just wanna rest The stress could never switch my brain Some things just gotta stay Me liberty, not a chain, I become make me shame Oh, oh, oh For your liberty, you want our mind. I but we need liberty. We close to death. I but want you come for me. We need your help. I but with your liberty. We need your love. I but give us charity. Liberty, 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 liberty. Deep in my soul, I but I need liberty. Striving for hope. I but with your liberty. Liberty, liberty, liberty. Some hope, I will we need liberty. Don't let us choke, I will we need liberty. Na 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 na. La da 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 da. Ah 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 Na 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 na. Liberty, eh 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 eh. Liberty. We need some time, I will show liberty. All on our mind, I will give us liberty. Liberty, 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 yeah. Give us your time, I'm with your liberty. Give me your mind, I'm on your liberty. I'm going to put some hot sauce on that thing real quick I can't do better for you These engines are made out of them I should have known what I had But now I'm burning You're telling me you're paying for a pair of phone What? You ain't give me no explanation So why don't you show me By your Trials after trials after trials after trials, after trials got me falling, falling. Dear God, I'll change. Be a better servant for your name. And when you ask me who I am, I'ma stay what your claim. So I serve you. Yeah. Be better. Praise you. I'm getting better. Yeah, I learned your word. I'll eat it better, I learned your word I drink it better All that in my brain People think that I'm insane Cause I don't teach the same doctrine I don't claim what others claim I broke away from all they chains And they hate me because they stayed And I know that it's kinda lame But the truth is all that I claim Help me be better for you All that I know I need You're all that I know I see I could never understand yeah, the things that you taught if it wasn't for you. You sent your soul for me. I owe you everything. I'll give you everything. I'll give you all of me. I give. I'll give you everything. Yeah. Either I die now. Or you forever set me free, either I lie now I let the truth live all in me I always give a helping hand, but no helping hand gave me Nobody gon' save me, but the father that sent me yeah. One minute they love you, one minute they hit you One minute they trust you, next minute they snake you They in your backpack, taking all of your thoughts They in your backpack, stab you right in your heart Call out a back scratch Call that a back scratch They killed you in the dark Ain't nobody around And they left you alone But the father's in there Ain't he seen on his own Hey, he's sending you home Still. 
They know the sin, that's a whole difference In the dark, we shining bright, okay You see us, you see the light, okay None of this came overnight, okay They know the sin, that's a whole difference Come to us, we get you right, okay Giving new eyes to the blind, okay Hold on, it's almost our time, okay Don't make a sound, cause we went for the call Ain't nobody in heart, I been praying for y'all The trumpets gon' blow and they walls gon' fall Wall, wall Wow, wow. Young lions, young lions, we came from the jungle We walk with the heat like we coming with sunners He keeping us edge like our name is Sonic We watching our sons cause our vision is tunnel, period This the end of the sentence, end of the story Come on, she out coming, we going back on this according to prophecy No, we don't ever get caught in hypocrisy I want my shooter to target and shot for me Seeking the kingdom, I know what they got for me This ain't the time to be wicked, repent Washing yourself with the soap, now went. You need you some sense, not money like sense. I head on collision, I come out with dents. I got them angels with me, I done seen them. Searching for souls, I really wanna clean them. Drunk off the wine, the devil try to lean them. Lining them up with lasers, trying to beam them. You need salvation, not a Lamborghini. You don't need a bottle or a magic genie. Only a rim to make it that is teeny. You thinking you tough, but most of y'all is weenies. Respectfully, repent. Shalom. They know the sin, that's a whole difference In the dark, we shining bright, okay You see us, you see the light, okay None of this came overnight, okay They know the sin, that's a whole difference Come to us, we get you right, okay Giving new eyes to the blind, okay Hold on, it's almost our time, okay Don't make a sound, cause we went for the call And obedient heart, I've been praying for y'all The trumpets gon' blow and they walls gon' fall Wow, wow Wow, wow. Young lions, young lions, we came from the jungle We walk with the heat like we coming with sunners He keeping us edge like our name is Sonic We watching our sons cause our vision is tunnel, period This the end of the sentence, end of the story I'm yelling, I repeat, no offense, let me speak Do not become offensive, my spirit come in peace See they cannot come against us, the most I do was in me So please do not call this music, this is prophecy on beats Beginning, he said, Let there be like we made in his image. You see what we look like. You looking for heaven, you know it's within, right? This is sensation, don't care what you feel like. That went overhead just like chemtrails at midnight. After we leave this earth, we live a good life. Christ was on to something when he was here, right? He burping something like a doula or midwife. I'm his disciple, he gave me the green light. You worship the devil, we on different teams, right? Repent to dropping. I pull up my sleeves like he made me your ruler. I measure and reach heights. Y'all do not get it, I hope you receive, right? They really don't see it, I hope you receive. Side, I'm praying and hear me. You know how they be right or not, yo He need a true, let them be right Nah, cause the end is coming Me, I'm super hyped cause my friend is coming Me and Zion, I'm about to give him some Me and King Easy going demon hunt, huh They know the sin, that's a whole difference In the dark, we shine it right, okay You see us, you see the light, okay None of this came overnight, okay They know the sin, that's a whole difference Come to us, we we'll get you right, okay Giving new eyes to the blind, okay Hold on, it's almost our time, okay Don't make a sound, cause we went for the call And obedient heart, I've been praying for y'all The trumpets gon' blow and they walls gon' fall Wow, wow Wow, wow. Young lions, young lions, we came from the jungle We walk with the heat like we coming with sunners He keeping us edge like our name is Sonic We watching our sons cause our vision is tunnel, period This the end of the sentence, end of the story Come on, she out coming, we For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is And rested the seventh day Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it Six days we labor, seven day we rest Free from all the obligations that cause stress Trust me, I've been waiting down the days and the minutes When the sun goes down, it's a wonderful feeling Cause six days we labor, seven day we rest Break from all the obligations that cause stress Trust me, I've been waiting down the days and the minutes When the sun goes down, it's a wonderful feeling So peace be unto thee Children of Israel Who put their faith in God and did not fail Praise God The most I set us apart, so we know which way we are following. No more turned up weekends, we just having to sleep in. Scriptures diving deep, and while on lawful, we be seeing. 
How holy day for the nation spent fellowshipping and praying. Although it's sin, we laid in He's been gracious and patient. I'm saying it don't matter the situation if your bit for the Sabbath. No, sin on the invitation. You are the Lord is out and about. I'm spinning what's in their accounts. We study this word about innocent people in the house. Preparing our souls for after this. Saying the times have changed, the laws are done away. It's blasphemy. Same God, no matter the acronym. Only one of Abraham. I can't use it all, but you need that for other things. I'm a citizen that he'll never forsake us. My son, he in the blind. Yeah, curses we break him. Send prayers up to people. So, Father, please. Six days we labor, seven day we seven rest. Day we rest. Rip from all the complications that cause stress. Trust me, I'm in waiting. Count the days and the minutes Ooh, when the sun goes down. It's a wonderful feeling. For six days we labor, seven day we rest. Rip from all the complications that cause stress. Trust me, I've been waiting. Count the days and the minutes when the sun
lost and hot, that's when you lost It's time to turn back and repent Because that life don't cost you Yeah Forgive me, forgive me for all the sins that I committed. Forgive me, forgive me for all the sins that I omitted. Forgive me, yeah, I'm crying, I'm on my knees. That's where I shall begin. Crying hard not to indulge in this evil wickedness. No longer in ignorance. Them times you winked at. I say you commanded all men in the world to repent. Uncovering all my sins so that I can go and prosper. Confessing and forsaking them, I'ma have some mercy. 70 times seven, I'm forgiving my brethren. When I do that, I'm forgiven by Yahuwah in heaven. My righteousness is filthy as a rag. How can I use that to wipe the sins from my future and past? Yahuwah, know this track right here was special made for you. Forgive me for my my sins and make my garment white and new. God forgive me. Have mercy for the sins that I committed. Have mercy for the sins that's been omitted. Forgive us for the sins that we have done. It's time to turn to Yahuwah before he come. I know I haven't been the person you want me to be. I know I must try harder cause your will must be complete. I just hope that when you look upon me deep within my soul, you find mercy for my spirit and remove me from the cold. Mercy, mercy, mercy on me. I feel the ruach when you pouring it upon me. And only when I'm on my knees praying, that's when my zone be at one with Yahuwah and rightfully cause he on me. Mercy, evil running rapid every day. The love for humanity is slowly drifting away. Mercy, prophecy fulfilling in the show. I hope that we ready when redemption knock at the door. Have mercy, 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 mercy. Have mercy, 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 mercy. Have mercy, 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 mercy. Have mercy, 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 mercy. No mess
Right. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Welcome to New Wine Congregation of Israel, real time prophecy. Um, we give all honor and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, through the name of His Son, Yahweh Shah. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. And before we do, we're going to send us some prayers. Send us some prayers. So let's face the East. Sisters, if you don't have your head covered, get you something to cover your head. And brothers, if you got your head covered, please uncover your head so we can pray. I'll give everybody a minute to do that and we'll get started. See who we got up on here. Uh, King Thaddeus, you want to send us some prayers for us? Huh? Yeah, I sent up a prayer. Huh. Um, Deadly Father, yeah, I was about showing you how I I just want to say um, thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you for, you know what I'm saying, waking us up. Thank you for waking us up. Yeah. Thank you for just strengthening us to let us know who we are. Um, I just want to pray for all our people that's on this, um, this Zoom call and just strengthen them throughout their week and put it in both in the shine spirit and to bring this lesson out. Y'all, by saying y'all, shine name, I pray. Amen. 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 Um, Aliyah, what's the word, King? Uh, I'm uh, could you uh go to uh inline headline real fast, Bob Chucky? Okay. Salawan, salawan, everybody. So, what, matter of fact, before you go to uh, end time headlines, let's start off with uh, Colossians 3 and 17, and then go to uh, Syrac, chapter 39, verse 1. Probably so. Uh, Thaddeus, you want to read for us, King? God. This is the book. The Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. All right. So whatever we do in word or action, right, the things that we speak, the actions that we do, we make sure we want to do it in the uh, name of Yahweh, Yahweh, not doing it. To please men or to satisfy men, but to always please the, please the, the Lord and always giving thanks to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right? Now, I'm about to try to go to uh, Sirach 391.
This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out of the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Right. So so a man, a man or a woman, they want to make sure that first and foremost that they give their mind to the law to the testimony, right? So make sure that you meditate in your own laws, laws that your commandments in your mind, right? That you constantly meditate on the scriptures, right? Meditate on how to please the Lord, meditate on how to repent, meditate on how to be blameless to the ministry, right? Meditate on how to be that life, right? And then uh, with, with, with that, right, you want to be occupied also in prophecy, right? Which is future events, right? Future things that's going to be, um, that's going to um, befall the world. Right, and this when we go into prophecy, we're not prophesying as you hear in the Christian church, where you hear a prophet and she screamed for about a whole hour, then she say that she prophesied a new job in your future, or she prophesied that uh she see your new husband. No, we're not doing that. We prophesying what God said the Lord, what the Lord has written down, has what the Lord has placed in scriptures, right, for us to know um what is what is to come. Right. So we're gonna start off with uh a few, uh, not a few, we're going to start off with a few uh, current events, things that's kind of popping off in the world, which is very important because we got to know these things, right? But you can go ahead and go to, um, to a couple of end time headlines and then we're going to jump into the lesson. But lesson, ultimately today we're going to go into the downfall of America, a.k.a. Babylon. But before we get into that, we're going to get into these current events. What you got it, Kuhn? Con, right. so we got uh, so like you, uh, we got this um first one up here on the screen. Say prophecy why Syria Assad agreed to send Russian missile system to Hezbollah with Wagner Group help. All right, so you see these nations clicking up, right? Uh, Syria, um, clicking up with Russia, right? Missile missile systems getting sent around. You know, let's see what else we got. Uh. You see what's just up here. Israeli first responder says Hamas killers roasted babies in an oven during October 7th, a terror attack. Right. So why is stuff like this important, man? When you see it, it says Israeli first responder says Hamas killers roasted babies in an oven. What they're doing is they're gaining media support. Right. You all is is the Israelis. And I'm saying the Israelis because they're not Israel. Right. The Israelis always had a problem with Ishmael, the Palestinians. But the problem was the reason why they could never do the, the attack the way that they're doing it now is because they didn't have the support of the of the of the rest of the world behind them. Now, stuff like this coming up, this is all designed to get support behind them. Right. Let me get a pre precept real quick. Let me go to the book of Psalms, chapter 55. Psalms 55 and let me see. Ah, uh, Salaki so Psalm 50. All right, this media, all these things being shown on the news. That's why you also got to look at different news sources. All right, let's go down to verse. 16, right? It says, but unto the wicked. Yahweh said, oh, I'll let you read that. That is lucky. Let's start at verse 16. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Right. So, so, so like it says unto the wicked, Yahweh said, who is the wicked? Right. Hold on real quick. Who is the wicked? Let's go to the book of Malachi because it's talking to somebody specific. Malachi chapter one. And let's read verse four. This is the book of Malachi chapter one, verse four. Whereas Edom saith, where are impoverished 
but we will return and build the desolation, desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Right, forever and ever, ever. So we're dealing with Esau, Edom. They're the border of wickedness. They will wickedness start and where wickedness is going to end. So when we go to Psalms, back to Psalms 50, when they say unto the wicked, that's who we dealing with. Esau, Edom, who tried to build up our land after they stole it from us. Right. So he says, but unto the wicked, Yahweh said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Meaning what? They took our Bible and try to assume our identity. It says that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, meaning they calling themselves the Jews now. They're not the Jews. They're Amalek, the sentence of Edom. Right. Read on verse 17. Verse 17. Seeing thou, seeing thou hatest instruction and chastise my word behind thee. Mm -hmm. 18, 18. 18. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consented with him uh -huh. and has been partaker with adulterers. Right. They've been partakers with adulterers. They seen the Babylonians stealing us. Right. And they helped them steal us. You read about that in the book of Obadiah. Right. They we're their brother, but they they cut us off in the way when we was trying to get away. So they're partakers with adulterers. Right. Read on. Verse 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. Right. And that's the point. Thou givest thy mouth. What's their mouth? Their media. Right. These news channels that's framing up mischief, painting the Israelites as terrorists. Right. Painting everybody in the world is wicked and themselves is good. Right. So their their mouth is speaking evil. Their tongue frameth deceit. Right. Read verse 20. Verse 20. These things has thou done and I kept silent. Uh, ver verse 20. Oh, 20, 20. Shall I? Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Right. And that's talking about us. They slander us, right? So they're using this media to work to their advantage to try to to try to set themselves in the in the light and put everybody else in the dark. But it's gonna backfire. Go ahead, O. Uh, and it's a perfect example, um, just to show you that you know the Edomites are the devil's man and that um, it's wickedness in this world. Because when I was working today, I actually found my granddad. He used to chew tobacco, and I found one of these rappers, and it said. Warning, this product can cause gum disease and tooth loss. So mm. the next question would be like, why are you selling this in store? If this can cause gum disease and make me lose my teeth, why are you selling it in stores? And that's just proof right there, you know, that he wicked, man, for allowing this stuff to be sold in stores, as well as cigarettes and um all the other stuff as well. But you got it, King. Huh. And they even with them stuff like that, they use them commercials. That's That's their mouth. Right. Their mouth is the media outlets, the TV, the radio, because they in control of the airways. Right. So they frame it. So let's go back to the headline. It says, is this why you see this up here? Israeli first responder says Hamas killers roasted babies in an oven during October 7th attack. That's going to rally support. Right. That's going to make Americans want America to send them more money to keep the Iron Dome running. To keep our to uh be able to fight against the Israeli. Hey, we we don't we're not on either one of their side, but we just looking at the way that they frame and deceit, right? Let's keep let's look at some more. All right, down here say calls for army to be deployed in London for a million strong Palestine Palestine march, right? So you got these Palestinians, the Ishmaelites, right? They marching all over the place, man. And they was they 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 went they tried to um them brothers attacked our brothers over in Chicago the brothers in WFI, right? They attacked our brothers and that's that's not by mistake, man. All this stuff is supposed to be coming to pass, right? Let me get another precept. Show you why why these see the thing about Ishmael, Ishmael don't give a damn about nobody but himself, right? They don't care about no no other nation but their own people. Right. And that's supposed to be like that. The Lord said it would be like that. But let me get this first. 
Cause when I seen the parade thing, it just made me think about how they how they tried to squad up on our brothers out there in Chicago, right? Genesis forty nine, and let's read verse eight. This is the book of Genesis chapter forty nine, verse eight. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Right. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Mm -hmm. So it say, Judah, thou art the, the one who thy brother shall praise. Right. We're going to be the ones to bring the law. We're the ones who started teaching the laws that we were the Israelites first. When you go back to 1969. Right. But the point it says, it says, thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. When you think about your hand being in the neck of your enemy that means you and your enemies is in close proximity you got to be if y'all in a fight y'all in close proximity for you to have your hands around your enemy's neck and that's what we are in, in babylon the great this is a prophecy also to let you know that majority of judah would be in the united states right so we surrounded by our enemies here in this place called america we got Ishmael surround. That's why it's, they call it a great melting pot. But really, what you got in, going on is we got all our enemies surrounding us. They surrounding us. So we're going to have Ishmael against us, Esau against us, Moab, the so-called Chinese man, uh, Ammon, the so-called Japanese man, all these other nations surrounding us here. Right. So Ishmael, the thing you got to understand about these Palestinians, man, they don't. They don't care about anybody but they self. And you see, they starting to click up now, right? Let's get another precept. We ain't going to spend too much time on um, these headlines, but I just want to let everybody know what's going on, man. Try to get some type of explanation, right? So rock, let's go to 2 Ezra chapter 15, and let's look at, uh, let's start at verse 30. Matter of fact, Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 30. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 30. Also, the Car Carmenians. Uh -huh. the, Car the Carmenians are the, are the, is the ancient name for the Iranians. The, that's that's modern day Iran. So the Carmenians is Iran, right? Go ahead. The Carmenians raging. Raging and wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Right. So when it say join power with them up in verse 29, it's talking about the dragons of Arabia, which is Saudi Arabia. Right. So you got that's what you see when it says, let's go over here again. When you see these, it say a million strong Palestine Palestine march. The the those Ishmaelites are joining forces. They're clicking up together the way that the Bible said that they're gonna do, right? So Saudi Arabia and Iran raging in wrath shall go forth as wild boars of the wood, and, and with great power shall they come. Meaning they're gonna have strong military power because they already got the support of China and Russia. Right. So they're going to have strong military power and join battle with them and shall waste the part portion of the land of the Syrians, which is going into the Israel where the Israelis are in Israel. Right. The Assyrians is, is going into the Israelis because it's symbolic for how the Assyrians took over our land in the past and, ass and assumed our identity, assumed our land as their own. The same way the, the Amalekites are doing it today, right? Read verse 31. Verse 31. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn them, turn themselves. And if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power to persecute them. You see that? Conspiring together. And it says they're going to remember their nature. What's that going into? Let's go to Genesis again. They're remembering their nature. Genesis chapter 16 and verse number 11. Let's read about Ishmael when the prophecy first got gave by the Most High. They're remembering their nature in these last days, right? So we heat, this thing is heating up fast. 
So this is the time to get your minds right, get in these prophecies and get in these laws and get yourself together. Gather yourselves together with your people. Right. Let's read verse 11 and 12. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 11. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child and shalt bear a son and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord have heard thy affliction. Right. So Ishmael is like Ishmael is the so-called Arabs. Right. The Palestinians, that's the same people, the Saudi Arabians. Those Iranians, those are the same people. They come from Ishmael, right? Read on. So the Most High said, you're going to have a son, and you're going to call him Ishmael, right? Read on. 12, and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Right, you see that his hand will be against every man. Ishmael, that's why Ishmael will scream Allah Akbar and blow himself up and everybody around him because he don't his, he don't care, he don't give a damn. So he remembering his nature, he remembering himself right now in these last days, and his hand and every man's hand against him, meaning every they don't like nobody and don't nobody like them. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren, meaning when it's all said and done. All of those Ishmaelites are gonna click up because of the because they seeing how their brothers getting oppressed over there in Israel today, right? So let uh Eliezer, you had your hand up, King. Go ahead. I don't know if he's still on here. He might have left. Yeah, I think he had to leave Salaki. But um, yeah, let's go back, right? So it says, um, let's I'm just reading, I'm just shooting from the hip. Say plot involving fighting. Brothers got precepts. Bring them out. We ain't going to spend too much more, um longer on this. Right. Uh, I had um, something to say. Uh, like we just read, it said he's a wild man. Mm -hmm. Basically, like, just think about it. They, they're the type like to put bombs on their chest, as the brother was just saying, and run into a building and just suicide bomb it, you know? That's what it's getting like, a wild man, because he's just, he'll do anything. That's right. That's right, man. They don't they don't care. Right. So it's a plot involving five suspects planning to detonate explosives, attack civilians, and take over government buildings for by Armenian officials. So you got chaos breaking out all over the world, right? Biden pressing Israel for ceasefire in war with Hamas. Now, why is Biden trying to get Israel to stop to stop the war? But they at the same time they support them. It's because they know what the Bible says, man. They know what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen in the future, right? Let me get one more precept, and then we're going to go into the second part of the, uh, of the class. It's the, um, let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 47. These, these people, these officials, these presidents and people above them, they know what's going to happen in the future because they, they do sorcery. They witches. Why? This the only you got. You got to ask yourself why would he send them money, millions of dollars of every month, but at the same time you trying to um, you trying to get them to do a ceasefire. All right, hold on. Isaiah chapter forty-seven and verse. Yeah, let's start at verse ten. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. All right, so this is going into the daughter of Babylon, who is Esau Edom. When you, when you uh, precept that with Psalms 137 and verse 7 and 8. Seven, eight, and nine, I believe. Right. So it said that they trust in with it says none, it says they trusted in wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me, right? Because they control the media, the media outlets, right? Like we went into in Psalms 50. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Bible is a true book, right? Let's read on. Verse 11, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not 
know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Right? The, 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 their allies are going to turn on them at, when they least expect it. Right? Read on. Verse 12. Stand now with thy en enchantment and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt shall be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. All right. So it says, stand with thine enchantments. Where your enchantments at now? With the multitude of your sorceries, they witches, right? Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. What's that youth? 1776. When this when this so-called country was was born, got their independence. They've been doing witchcraft since the beginning. That's why you look at DC, it's a up inverted pentagram. I mean, they Masons, all the presidents, all of them are Masons. All this is witchcraft, right? Read on verse 13. Verse 13. Thou art where in the multitude of thy counsels. Let not the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly pro prognosticators stand up. And save them from the these things that shall come upon thee. All right. So it's telling you right there. They look into the future. They got a multitude of the, of counselors telling them what they should and shouldn't do. Ultimately, it's not going to work because the Most High God is the only true God, and He won't be made out of a liar. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, people that predict the future. Stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee, but they can't save them, right? They're not going to be able to save them, right? So that's why it says biting, pressing for Israel to for a ceasefire in war with Hamas because they know the next steps that's coming, right? Jacob's trouble, then World War Three, and then it's a wrap. We up out of here, right? So we ain't going to go too much longer in that. Ali, you got it, King. Uh, uh, it's the water, man. They came in clutch, man. But boy, I, I mean, they've been doing like a gazillion things at one time. Let's see, hold on. You um, good? You good to do it? Or? Oh, yeah, I'm good to do it. Okay, come, come. I always say it's the water for doing that. So, all, right, all praise to the Most High King. All praise to the Most High. Yeah, how about she? How shot? Yeah, I'm good, King. Man, she got a slipping. Yeah, I'm good, King. All right, my bad. Fly. Okay. Hey, man, but, but mighty thing, but mighty, mighty, that was mighty, that was mighty. What's so crazy though? That's the spirit though, because some of the precepts that you was going into, I was gonna bring out. Uh, that's the saying? spirit, man. <laughs> that's the spirit, man. Uh, so uh. Let's go to uh, uh matter of fact, let's start off with uh let's start off with uh Psalm chapter 137 and uh verse eight. Let's start right there. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Right. So it says, O daughter of Babylon, right, who ought to be destroyed. Right. Because America is the daughter of Babylon, right? And so as and so and the spirit says, so is the mother, right? So shall I, so is the daughter, right? So the, the mother, the mother of Babylon got destroyed, right? Hey, and this, hey, this Babylon gonna get destroyed. But go to uh Ezekiel chapter sixteen, verse forty-four, so I can get there. So we gotta understand now, uh, and this, and this is another thing to look at, right? So there was three, there's three different Babylons, right? You got the Babylon, the first Babylon, then you got the neo, uh, the neo, the neo Babylon Empire, right? Which one, which one that was the Nebuchadnezzar? So now you got another Babylon, right? Which would be the third Babylon, spiritual Babylon. Which also means completion as well. Number three means completion, right? But this will be the third Babylon, right? In the through the spirit, right? But go to uh, 
Ezekiel 16 and 44. Look at that. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 44. Behold, uh, everyone that useth proverbs shall use their proverbs against thee. Right. Same, same, as it as is the mother, so is her daughter. Right. So it says, so is the mother, so is the daughter, right? And that, and that and we all we know also now this scripture is talking about something in a different context, but we know that the scripture is also double to its ear. So you can so some scriptures are more than one fold, right? Can you go to uh uh Job chapter eleven and verse six, please, Robert Kishon? Job eleven and six. So we can understand that the scriptures is uh double to its ears. This is the book of Job chapter eleven, verse six. Uh -huh. And that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom. That they are doubled to that which is right. So these, these, uh, these, these precepts and scriptures, man, right? You reading it is one context, but it could be double fold for something else, or even three times fold for something else, right? So here we have it back in Psalms. It said, "Who thought of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed?" Right? It says, "Happy shall he be that reward, reward her as she basically as she done to unto thee." Right? And what is that reward? That reward is destruction. Right, because we think about what the uh so-called white well so-called so white men in America, whatever you want to call it, has done to us, right? And they destroyed us, they destroyed us as a people, right? Uh Bob Scott King, could you uh could you bring up the uh just just type in Jesse Washington real fast? If you can on Google and then just uh just uh if you can so type in Jesse Washington and then put up a picture. Stop when it is safe to do so and then review the route. After half a mile, turn right. right and then immediately turn right. So, so for those that don't know this, uh, this story, right? Um. This was a brother that was basically uh was accused of uh raping and uh killing a uh a a, a so-called white woman. And what happened was he had a he had a trial and everything like that. He said he was guilty, whatever, whoop the whoop, right? So what they did, what the people did was now as this as this trial is going on, right, you got these so-called white people, they're upset. They're upset about this, right? They kind of feeling like real, real, real angry to where the fact that they was trying to take him out of prison. So what you had was during the uh, the early 1900s when a, a, a so-called black man was put into uh, in jail for any kind of reason, you would have these white mob, so-called white mobs, the Edomite mob would come and drag the, uh, per the person, right, the so-called black man, a black boy, out of the prisons, they did the same thing to them in Matil, right? They'll uh they'll drag them out of these prisons and they'll they'll go and they'll uh they'll uh they'll they'll uh they'll 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 do their own uh judicial system. As in they will they will they'll lynch them, kill them, whatever. You usually end up them being killed, but they will torture them before they get killed, right? And uh for those that ever been to uh matter of fact been to Tallahassee we go, we on, we bring out a cascade. There's literally a sign, right? It goes to about how they lynched uh our brothers, right? In the past, and each time where the, these when these brothers were convicted, right? The people, the angry white mob, they'll go in, they'll drag these brothers out, right? So what they did here was they went to this, they dragged this brother out, right? They cut off this man, this man's fingers, they cut off his toes, right? Then they dragged his body to uh in in, in the streets. Right, they doused this man in oil and they dipped him in fire. They dip, they took him out, they dipped him again, took him out, they did him again. Right, so his body ended up burning up. Right, and so what they did after that, oh, and not only did that, as they was before they, as they was cutting off his body, I mean, as they was um beating him, they were stabbing. So they after they let, they dragged him from the jailhouse, they stabbed him. Right, they beat him, they stabbed him. Right, they did all kind of stuff to this man. Right, they cut off his genitals. Right, you had little kids, you had little kids uh selling his teeth, right? So people for five dollars, 
I mean, they 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 mutilated this guy. They literally destroyed this guy. Now, this is one of over three thousand lynches that they did, right? If you you can actually look that up, they they lit, and that was just during that time period. Just during that time period alone, it was like three thousand lynches of our people. Three thousand lynches, right? Uh, not only that, could you uh bring out uh just 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 go just type in Gatorbait. Gatorbait, you know what I'm saying, and show uh show a picture of that real fast, right? Because these are all the things that uh the the um the so uh so called white man America has done to our to our people, right? Because you don't you don't see these accounts happening to uh to uh white people in America. These things happen to them. It happened to the Israel, right? All right. So these are uh these are also some things they did as well. They fed our babies, right? They fed them to alligator for uh to, to alligators so they can buy so they can um make some leather shoes, leather bags, all kind of things. So that's what they did, right? Just kind of sort of thing. So like um, I was gonna say that these are like po these are postcards because they were like they were so blunt with it back then, they just Made postcards out of that, so that's what y'all looking at. Uh, uh, hey, hey, and and, and and that's and that's a. I'm glad you brought it out. They so blunt. They didn't. They didn't care about what they did to our people, right? And just like they didn't care about what they did to our people, hey, the most I'm not gonna care what's gonna happen to them, right? When you read the Latin, and what's so interesting, right? Uh, we gonna we we can we continue reading on that, but I, it was another point I wanted to get to. But as we talking about these postcards, we can we we can go ahead and get into uh how, how they did our, our children, our babies. We can just read that thing what's about to come next, right? Which is also a future prophecy. But uh you can you matter of fact you can go back to Psalms one one thirty seven and read on down. Right? But I'm gonna go after we get reading that, I wanna go back to, um to the reward that's the that's to come to uh to Babylon though. This is the book. Of Psalms chapter 137, verse 9. He happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Right? So just as these people went and uh offered our babies up to alligators and did like uh, did that also not only did they do that, but back and uh during the time of the uh the, the Romans and the Grecians. Right, they was cutting our women, cutting the babies out the women's stomachs, right, throwing them over, over the wall, right? All these things, even the things that they not we're not just talking about slavery, we're talking about things they did in 70 AD when they besieged Jerusalem, right? All these things that these people have done so over years, over over centuries. These people over centuries, right, have uh have have uh basically um just Destroyed us as a people. They just, just did us dirty. They did us dirty, basically. They did us dirty, right? And now they're la the, the height of their kingdom, right, which is America right now, right, is about to be destroyed, right? Because the Lord is going to reward this place just as what it did to us is going to be done to them, right? Now go to uh, Revelation chapter 18 and go to verse number four. No, you know, verse number five. Go to verse number five and get straight to the point. This is the book of Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Right, so start right there. Right. So, all right, give me a second. Read that one more time, Salaki. I'm, I'm doing a gazillion things at one time. But just read that. A Revelation chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached into heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Right. So, Salaki, let's start right there. So, 
Now it said her sins have reached unto heaven, right? So it's two. It's, it's, a, a, it's a a few places I want to go with this. One, we gotta remember it says uh, that the, the Most High have remembered her iniquities, right? Now, who is the who the one who runs this Babylon? Who runs Babylon as of now? That's when we go back to uh, re, now, re, we go back to Psalms chapter one thirty seven, right? Go to Psalms one thirty seven and go over to where it mentions Edom. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the right. day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Right. So verse. now it refers to, uh, well, keep going, you keep going. Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, who right. art Stop to right be the... So it refers to the children of Edom as the daughter of Babylon, right? So now we understand, okay, the children of Edom, the daughter of Babylon, right? Now, in the context of 18, it's talking about where the Lord, the own Lord said he's he going he to remember, he remember her nixie. Because as we know that usually if you repent, right, the Lord, he'll blot out your nixie. But there is no repentance for the so-called white man. Right, go to Psalms, I mean, not Psalms, go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. So it's no repentance for this nation. It's it's finished. They can't they can't repent for what they did to, to Jesse, um, Jesse Watts. They can't repent what they did for, to Emmett Till. They can't repent what they did to all the people of our people that they mutilated and killed. They can't repent for that. But go ahead. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Lest right. there be any fornicator or profane person. As means wicked. Who is more wicked than the so-called white man? Did you know mm. these people kill over a bill? I think it was over a billion. They killed over a billion um water buffalo just to starve the Native Americans. Who is more diabolical than that? That's just one thing, man. Right? You gotta think about the stuff they put inside the food. Damn bill snakes talking about they done got they got um uh, Deep population drugs in the food. Man, these people are wicked, man. These people are wicked. And the brothers got their hands up. I can't see it. So feel free to uh chime in. But yeah, who is more diabolical than the so-called white man? We just sit here just stop and think everything that they have done, right? Everything that they put together, everything they stand for is wickedness. It's pure wickedness, right? So uh, go back to uh, Revelation chapter 18, right? No, no, matter of fact, before we get there, go to Nahum chapter 1 and verse uh, 2. Nahum 1 and 2. This is the book of Nahum chapter 1, verse 2. Yeah, how... Yahweh is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious, and the Lord will take vengeance on his adversary, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Uh huh. Keep going. Verse three. Let's stop. Let's stop right there. Right. So let's go. Let's go to that. We said he reserved wrath for his enemies. Right, you know how like you got when you saw we used to talk we reserve something, right? You might reserve something. Let's go to the word reserve. Can you go to the word reserve, Bob Kashaw, please? The word reserve. Let's go to that word, man, real fast. Reserved. Refrain from using or disposing of of something re re retained for future use. Say, say that again. Re, retain for future use. Hey, hey, he got hey. Now we understand it's that retain for future use. So what is he gonna retain for future use? Read that, read that, read that, read that verse again, This is the book of Nah Nahum, Nahum chapter one, verse two. Yahweh is jealous and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth. 
and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. So he's going to retain, right, wrath, right? He's retaining wrath for the enemy, for the so-called white, to all the heathen. He's, return, he's retaining wrath. He's, he's got a storage container of wrath that he has set aside just for the heathen, right? And he's got a storage container of wrath set aside just for America, a.k.a. Babylon, right? Can you read it? Verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger and right? great. Because when... just because the Lord didn't destroy this place back when they was lynching us, back when they had us on a slave ship, back when we was dying on on the uh on that uh they uh I forgot that trip that trip they call it when they uh crossed the sea I forgot what they call it um but back then just because the Lord didn't destroy destroy them then it don't mean nothing because he's slow to anger but keep going. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquite the wicked. Acquite. The Lord the Lord have his way in the world. Right, when, so it said he will not at all acquit the wicked. Can we go to that word acquit with really fast? The word acquit. Go to that real fast. Bob the shot, please. Follow the road for three times. Uh, acquit. Free someone from a criminal charge by a verdict Ooh. of not guilty. Right? So, hey, they not finna get a slap on the wrist. They not finna get a not, they not finna get your innocent. They not finna get that. He said, I will not at all acquit the wicked. So no matter how you feel, no matter you say, well, man, you know, man, I, 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 I know some of them, they're good, you know, they they gave they bought me a meal one time. They put some gas. They put some, some gas in my gas tank, right? Some money in my gas tank. Hey, it, hey, the Lord said He will not all quit the wicked, right? We can't, and that and that's a lot of times where um a lot of you can't bring any emotion when you read this Bible. You can't bring any emotion to it. You got to read it as it is, right? Because the Bible say what it's gonna say, what it say. So as of the Lord, He said He's not gonna quit the wicked. So everything this nation, every wicked and vile thing this nation right has done, right, is going to be returned back upon his head, right? That's that's what's going on, right? How do we know that? Because we look, Lord say, hey, is we go back to Revelation chapter eighteen, but we got we had to understand first, right? Who's the daughter of Babylon? Who who is Babylon right? Who is Babylon right now, right? And we still there's still more to come, right? There's still more nails that we can put inside this coffin, right? But uh. Let's go, let's go back to Revelation chapter 18. Cause we're going into this, we're going to this war, and then we're going to go more into who's Babylon. But go ahead, King. Back to Revelation chapter 18. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 5. <clears throat> For her sins have reached into heaven. And right, how will have remembered. It said her sins have reached unto heaven. Right? So you gotta think about this. Us as Israelites. Which is, this is why you got to be grateful that, that you are Israelite. You have to be grateful and, and, and just praise the Lord that you're Israelite. Why? Because we have the ability to repent. We have the ability to get our slate wiped clean. Right? Esau, it ain't finished. So guess what happened when you can't get your slate wiped clean? That means it continues to pile up. It continues to pile up. It continues over centuries. Just imagine your sins over centuries continuing to pile up. Right? Keep going. Verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And right, double same, to... same thing that it was saying in um, um, Psalm chapter 137. Keep going. And double. Reward her. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her. Right. Double right, according then. to her. Word. So it says. Double, it says Babylon is going to receive double. Babylon, that, think about that. Lord said, I'm going to word her double. He's going to be, he's going to do it times two, right? Keep reading. Um, Lord, it unto her double according to her words, and the cup which she have filled is blurry. Uh, she have filled. 
Con, uh, brother Nishan, you mind finishing that? Con, uh, Salaki. So um, it said reward verse eight, Revelation eighteen and verse six. Reward her even as even as she has rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the right. cup which she have filled, filled to her double. Uh huh. And how much, how much so? How much she has glorified herself and lived uh -huh. deliciously. So right. much torment and sorrow give her. For right. she said, in, go ahead. Go ahead. No, say it again. Go, 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 keep going. They said, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen. And right. am a widow. So stop right there. She said, I sit a queen, right? She said, live deliciously, right? So a queen, right? We think a queen, a queen sits on a throne, right? A queen sits up high. A queen has high stature, right? Now let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 17. And I want to say go to verse, start at verse one. I want to say. All right, Revelation, right seven, Revelation 17 and verse one. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Right, so it says the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, right? That's going into, when it says many waters, that's going into nations. Can you go to jump to verse 15 so we can get that context real fast? Verse 15. And he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Right. So it's talking about that whore. It's a it's a that this, this horse sits upon a many nations. Uh King, could you Bob Kasha just type in uh America the melting pot? You mentioned it earlier. That's why I told you it's the spirit, man. But you mentioned earlier, could you uh um go into the America the melting pot or something like that? Cause it, it should show a picture kind of for a little bit so we can kind of get a visual real fast. My location, watch out. Uh All right. So we got that right there. Um, so when it's talking about basically a melting pot, you got a lot of nations that 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 make up America, man. You got a lot of people from different many, many different nations come to America. I'm talking about nations across the world, New Zealand, Australia, uh uh I mean anywhere, anywhere across the world, you name it, they come to America. Right, so America is mixed with a lot of people in the world, right? That's why it's called that melting pot, right? A lot of different ideologies, a lot of different religions, right? A lot of different doctrines. This is a huge melting pot. There's so much stuff you can you just dip your hand in, and you you come out with anything. When you got a melting pot, a mixed melting pot, you might come out with an apple, you might come out with a, 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 a orange, a, a piece of corn, right? That's America. You dip your hand in this pot, you might come out with anything. Right, but uh, go back to uh, Revelation chapter 17. I want to say he was at verse two. You, you want to go back to verse two? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Okay, Revelation chapter 17 and verse two. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right, so it says the kings of the earth, right, they have fornicated with this, this woman, right? They fornicated with this woman, right? And that's going into dealing with this woman like uh, these other nations they come in, like they deal with them, the woman to uh come in uh with a rich crowd, uh the damn uh putting us down as a nation, right? It's so much things these nations come together and do, and one of the biggest things they come together to do is to put us to uh put us down as a nation. Because all these nations have a confederacy against the Israelites. That's the dang show. Right, but go to Nahum chapter uh three, three and verse four, three and four, right, three and four. Uh, the book of Nahum chapter three and verse four, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot. Right, so it's, right, same thing. You got the well favored harlot. You got this, 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 this harlot that sits upon different, many different nations. Right, this is America. This is the well favorite harlot. This the this the this that favorite whore that all the nations love to come get down with. All the nations come and get in a bed with America. 
that's why she that that's why she's considered a harlot, right? Fornication, right? All these nations come to fornicate. All these nations come and get in the bed with America, right? At some point in time, every nation have done it. The Russians, the Chinese, the uh, the Syrians, the Irans, right? It is rarely, right? All these nations have come and got in the bed with America, right? Getting down with this well favored harlot, right? We keep going. Uh, verse I say the uh verse four again because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and right. families through her witchcrafts. Right. So it says this 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 lady she she deals with witchcraft, right? Wizardry, right? And um, when you think about it, uh, and the brother mentioned something about this too, uh, earlier. I can't remember Zach on um, what he did Zach his exact words. Oh, is but, that Isaiah 47? It's a lot. I think so. But you had you had you had bought on a point basically about um about witchcraft. You mentioned the word witchcraft. Um yeah, yeah they big into that witchcraft. They've been doing that since they was built. Huh. Huh. That that's the point I wanted to bring out. They've been doing this thing since they've been built, right? And, and, and some people might think, well, that was back then. And these people still doing the same thing now. They just doing it different, right? They just doing it different, man. They just doing it behind closed doors now. At one time, it was kind of in your face. Now they kind of just doing this thing behind closed doors. Let me open the door now. It's locked in the Well, uh, yeah, man, it, 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 it deals with a lot of witchcraft, man. A lot of witchcraft and wickedness. When you, if you ever, uh, can we talk about this, um, so one time before on the call, but um, if y'all ever looked into um, looked into when they do uh do, do some research on the uh the abortions, right? Now they ain't gonna tell you right out, but I've I've heard that one of the things they do with these aborted babies is they they actually do they actually uh make them a part of rituals and things like that. So a lot of these elites, right? Dang, it's so crazy because I had just a, it was a video. That I just seen it was a lady. She was she was basically a, one of the elites, and she was like doing a speech, and she was basically said out her mouth that they eat babies, right? So these these people, and a lot of times when they do when they eat these children, right? They they make it pass through the fire of mole, which is witchcraft. So America is built off of witchcraft, right? But keep going doing that. Huh, that that got a hand. Go ahead, King. Oh, uh, oh I was gonna say um, I'm touching on that with the um. With the uh the elites, yeah, they um they be drinking blood and sacrificing babies and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And they be going into the caves and doing all that weird stuff. You know, that's why George Washington has like a, a Masonic uh memorial. You know, it's and they have it like public so everybody can see. But yeah, that's it. Ah, ah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Did the brother have some more on that? Oh, uh, you want to verse five? Uh, okay, on verse five. It says, Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts. I will discover thy skirt upon thy face. And right, I will... So the Lord says, the Lord says that he is against. He is against. He is against. This horror of Babylon, right? Now, in this context, now, it was talking about Nineveh, right? But that's why we started off with uh, understanding that the scriptures are double to which is, right? So in, it's, it's double, it's one fold for Nineveh and it's another fold for Babylon the Great because both of them have the same attributes to the spirit, right? Now, so Lord said he's against her, right? He said he's going to, basically, he's going to expose her, right? And that's another thing is that's going on, right? Now nowadays, even your regular old Joe, even though they they not they might not be a conspiracy theorist or they might not be in the truth, even they know that it's something fishy going on with Babylon. It's something wrong about this place, right? Then how they poisoned in the food, right? How they came out with the stuff with the jab, all type of stuff has been revealed, right? How they how they got how they got um their hand in child trafficking. Right, so much stuff is coming out. And that's the Lord, right? All these whistleblowers exposing this place. That's the Lord exposing her skirts. 
pulling up her skirt, showing you what she about, right? Now, uh, can you go back to Revelation chapter 17, Bible Child? Uh, uh, you want verse two again or verse three? Oh, uh, verse three. Uh, Revelation 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Right. Right. And the seven head the ten horns that's going into the uh to the EU. Right. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother breakdown. Right. Uh, we go stick. We're gonna stick to we're gonna stick to where it's at right here. Keep going. Uh, verse four, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked right. with gold and precious stones and pearls, right. having a cup, right. gold, having a right. golden so this, cup this, this, in her hand. So this, so this, this Nate, this woman, she's rich. She's a rich woman, right? And right now, this is a so-called rich country, right? They got this, they got that, right? But it's all going to be taken away. But uh, keep going, team. Like, so like I was going to say, um, it's like we went into the law. We went into Lamentation chapter 4. I ain't going to read it for the sake of time, but Lamentation chapter 4, verse 1 on down, let you know that we the gold. So it's also going to, yeah, they got the wealth, but they decked with gold and precious stones talking about they got Israel here that created their wealth. Right, but uh, let me keep reading. It says, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And, uh, and upon her head and upon her forehead was a name written Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and the abominations right? of the earth. It said Mystery Babylon, right? Mother of all harlots, right? So, right now, this is the mother of all harlots. Right, and then he said it's full of abominations, right? When you think about it, right, America within itself is full of abominations, man. Full of abominations, right? On a on on a, on the smallest level, right? It's full of pork, right? It's full of pork. They sell it in the streets. They try to put it in the candy. They try to put it everywhere, right? They put it some more. They put it in the um your toothpaste, right? Full of full of uh shrimp and shellfish. Right, abomination. Just on that part, we ain't even get on the part of all these different uh customs, witchcraft, uh doctrines, right? Homosexuality, transsexuality, pansexuality. There's so many abominations that's going on in this place. It makes no sense, right? You can come to America, you can do whatever your heart's desire, whatever, ever, whatever the most wicked thing you can imagine. You can come in, and it's 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 it gonna go. It's on go. It's a nation that's whatever, 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 hey, whatever your heart's content. Come on. Whatever your heart's content, man, you can, you can do whatever you want in Babylon, man. Right? But I didn't, uh, I'm at 801 right now. So I'm going to cut it short right now. If I, like I said, brothers had any, had, had, had any points, y'all go ahead. But I'm at 801 right now. And, and, and but I did want to uh to second that what you were just saying, and you brought a good point about how they, they have us, he, they have us, we are the jewels, right? Because Hitler, Hitler said himself, right? America has the jewels of God. Mm. Right? When it was talking about America has the jewels of God, he wasn't talking about no, he they, he got the gold. It was talking about us. We are the jewels, we are those precious stones. We think we matter of fact, when you go into the law. Right, it was a each tribe had our own had a own uh, own uh, each stone. I mean, each tribe had a stone to represent us, right? Which go what was going into the stones that was going into the epoch, right? Each uh -huh. stone had a pre a precious stone, right? Uh -huh. So we are that we are that precious stone. And then, like the brother brought up, also again, right? You got all the tribes here as well, uh -huh. right? All the all the tribes is here. But uh, like I said, it's eight oh two. You know what I'm saying? If any brother got some, right. go go ahead. Oh, oh, hand up. Out. You go ahead. Feel that. free, y'all go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, all right, yeah. Can I have some clothes? I had um something for brother to think about, man. Before we close up, um, 
brother, just remember, people in the world is banking on you to fall out this truth. Old friends, they want you to fall out this truth, man. We got to stay on our P's and Q's. We got to understand that, you know, family members, close friends, and man, when 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 it hit the fan, man, they gonna they gonna the more likely they gonna turn on you, you know. And we gotta make sure that we continue to go hard in this truth, man, because you know you have people casting spells on us, man, um, trying to get us to come fall out this truth and go back in the world. So people is waiting and expecting us to go back to this world. We can't give them that, man. You know, we gotta continue to go hard in this truth. So we don't be an example, cause the Most High, he 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 has set an example for some brothers. You see how some brothers and sisters that went back in the world, and, you know, they and they family members was like, I told you, I told you it was a cult. I told you she, and they, they talking about it behind the back, girl. I told you she she wasn't gonna stay in that long. She back celebrating birthday. I, I was happy about that, you know. So we gotta make sure that you know we just um being on fire in this truth, man. So we we don't go back into the world and be that an example. That the most high God gives to other brothers and sisters, like, hey, don't be like this person. Don't do like that. Don't be lukewarm. Cause you go back into that world, you're gonna be a lot. People are gonna, they're gonna laugh at you. But you got it, Kim. All right, go ahead, that. Con, this is brother Uriah. Okay, con, con, Uriah, Uriah, my Uriah. I like that. Con, con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but oh yeah, let uh, me just read this quick little uh scripture real quick. Uh Sirach 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his weakness. You know what I'm saying? All I got to say is, you know what I'm saying? Death to America. Con, big con. Con. Big con. So, con, yeah, I, got, I got one more thing. Con. Um, like the brother was bringing out, man, with the um, with all the wickedness that's going on in this place, man. Like when the brothers, we went out to fam, you and all that. Like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, we seen we seen crazy stuff, man. We seen men in, in dresses, you know, we seen like the brother was saying, man, we seen a whole lot of abominations, man. We seen pork, we seen homosexuality, we seen men in, in, in little dresses, like you know what I'm saying? Just just a little weird, man. And you know, women out of order, you know, this just proved that we living in Babylon, you know what I'm saying? God. All right. Hey, uh, uh, I want to uh, say something too. Um, can y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so I, I cry. Okay, so uh, uh -huh. yeah, just want to uh, just like to uh, just for the book, two brothers brought out two, two good points, man. One, man, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, uh, hey, what the heck is going on here? Definitely, um, Make sure that you keep enduring, man, and staying in this thing, right? And another thing, man, yeah, definitely don't trust your enemy, man. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Get uh thinking that he, that thinking that your enemy got your best interest at heart, and they really don't, right? Just like uh, the brother was saying, you know, so you got family members that want you that don't want you to uh, continue in the truth. The heathen damn so don't want you to continue in the, he's, uh, uh, continue in the truth. Think about that. As more people get inside this truth, that means that means this their their kingdom is coming to an end. That means that the way that they're living is coming to an end. That means the time that these people, the time that these people being on top, they about to be at the bottom. They about to be enslaved, either dead or enslaved. And that and that with that thought alone, ain't no way in hell you think that a he's gonna want you to prosper in this truth. Ain't no way in hell. Cause they know once we as we continue to wake up, we continue to be in this truth that their kingdom is coming to an end. Never trust your enemies, man. Never trust your enemies. Cause the time is coming where they going to show that, like like the brother said, that's iron. As that scripture says, that's iron rusting, right? That iron gonna rust, and that iron is about to be exposed, right? Cause a lot of things going on in the earth, but uh. Lord willing, man, we can touch on part two. Cause we just came, we just touched on just recognizing who Babylon is. We didn't even get into the destruction. But uh that's what I have. You know what I'm saying? But brothers got it. Kind, kind. I'll pray to the most high, man. Um yeah, we'll 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 pick it up. Um 
we'll pick it up uh next week most high willing man part two of the uh prophecy and um one just appreciate one just say thank you man i'll pray to the most high uh yahweh and his son yahweh shah appreciate everybody for coming through man and um congregating with us getting into these prophecies in these last days all right so um with that uh we got bible study most high willing that'll be Sunday at 7 p.m. Um, Brother Eliezer going to bring bring out a class on uh, self-examination, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we definitely want to be there for that. Don't miss that. And um, yeah, with that, man, we give our honor and glory to the Most High God and his son, Yahweh Shai. With that, we're going to say Shalom. 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 Shalom.